Excuse me. You left this on your table. I assumed it must be yours or your boyfriend. No, it was not my boyfriend. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just assumed. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the book. Hey, no problem. Hey! Oh, I didn't know you two knew each other. Oh, we don't. Wouldn't mind an introduction, though. Uh, Marty Saybrook, this is David Vickers, also known around Landfair as Uncle David. Oh, the mysterious uncle I've heard so much about. You're quite a celebrity. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. I'm sorry. I was very unfriendly just a second ago. I just had a very irritating chat. With that guy who's not your boyfriend. Did I miss something? Nothing worth repeating. So how do you, uh, like, land you so far? Well, the courtroom's nice. The hospital seems fine. Beside that, I haven't really seen much of the place. I haven't met that many people. I was just telling Dave that he should get out a little bit more often and see a little bit more of Landview. And uh, now that I think of it, you would make a great tour guide. Me? Yeah. Come on, what do you say, Marty? Only uh, give me a hand showing Uncle David around the real Landview PA. You know, I'm going to be really busy <clears throat> these next few days. Oh, that's fine, because I'm talking about tonight. My friend April and I are going to Rody's tonight. Um, nothing fancy, you know, we're just going to go and hang out, have a little fun. A little bit more fun if you two wanted to go. What do you say? Uh, it sounds great to me. Marty, what do you say? I don't know. What, do you have plans? No, but I've had kind of a rough day. Oh, well, maybe a night on the town is just what you need. I don't know. Hey, wait, look. Normally, I wouldn't push, okay? But uh, me and Kevin and April dancing around, I think that might have looked a little silly. So what do you think? I think it might. <laughs> Come on, Marty. You know, you deserve to have a little bit of fun. It's time you let go a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, I think I should let go a little bit. Oh, that sounds dangerously oh, close to a yes. <laughs> It is. Great. All right, um, I'm picking April up at uh, 7. I can drive you two also if you want. No, I, I think I'll meet you. My uh, new nephew here just ran me off the court today. I need time to recover. Well, I'll take you up on that ride. Great. All right, it's a date. Well, uh, a date, but, you know. Yeah, Kevin, we know. <sighs> well, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> This at Renee's. We thought CJ might need. Oh, please come on in. That was very sweet of you to make a special trip over here just for this. You didn't have to. Well, it gave me a good excuse. Excuse? To come over here. You have an ulterior motive? Hmm. Mind telling me what it is? No, not at all. Just to see you. Me? I was wondering if maybe you'd like to go out sometime. You know, nothing heavy. Just, you know, go have some fun. Because Luna said you were just tons of fun. Oh, well, thank you. That's, that's very sweet, but I, uh... When? Excuse me? When would you like to go out? I don't know. Um, tomorrow night? How about tonight? Tonight? Right now. Hey, works for me. You know, I say no time like the present. Don't you say that? Sure, no time like right now. Let's see, um, there's movies. We could do, go down to the theaters. I know there's a couple of films playing down at Five Points. No, you know, I'm really not in the mood to see a movie, but, you know, right next door to that is a great place to go dancing. Okay, you're on. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. I got held up at Landfair. You're not late, don't worry. Where's, uh, where's Kevin and, and his date? Oh, oh, excuse me. Can I get a beer? Sure. Uh, Here. let's see. Thank you. Okay, April's car. She's from the car. So he went to pick her up and they're gonna be by later. Oh, 
Well, you know what? I'm glad to have this chance to talk to you alone. I mean, since we're going to be working at the hospital together and everything, I thought it'd, it'd be nice to get to know you better. I see. So you want hospital gossip. Uh, believe me, work is the last thing I want to talk about tonight. I mean, I just figured, you know, I'm, I'm new here in Landview, and I need to meet some people. Thanks. Nice people, and you seem, well, you seem like a nice person, so... Uh, well, frankly, I've sort of been preoccupied with this uh, problem I can't seem to get off my mind. Oh, I know about those. So I thought, you know, maybe a little social activity would uh, get things off my mind for a while. So here's some new friends. <laughs> so the man, no, no wait, the man, he turns back to his brother and he says, well, I didn't know this was going to be a blind date. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Wait, no, hold on, Marty, hold on. Don't laugh too hard at my jokes, oh. because I have been known to get wound up, and I don't know when to quit. <laughs> Frustrated stand-up comic, huh? Oh, no, I wouldn't go quite that far. Don't worry, I'll let you know when I'm all laughed up. Good. Well... <laughs> whew. Kevin and April, they're taking their time, aren't they? Yeah, well, they'll be here. Guess. Oh, great. <clears throat> well, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had been here already. I figured you were new no, in no town. No, no problem. And... But if you want to go somewhere else, that's fine, too. No, no. This is the place. All right. Could I have a champagne, please? Sure. I get a beer and a champagne, please. <laughs> <laughs> You know, over there, that's my favorite table. Wow. You must come here a lot to have a favorite table. Oh. Yeah, you whatever makes you smile. Let's sit up this way. Mm -hmm. oh, excuse me. Oh, David. Tina. Marty. Dylan. What are, so you, what are you doing, doing here? here? Well, don't you just love it? I, the two of us just happening to run into you two. Talk about a small world. Very small. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have an idea. Why don't we all just sit together? Actually, I was just about to ask Marty if she'd like to dance. I'd love to. <laughs> You want to sit down? Tina. So my favorite line of the movie, the cop, he looks down the street and he sees that it's been completely destroyed, okay? It's just a bunch of rubble. And then he turns to his partner <laughs> and he says to his partner, that wasn't no ordinary cow that did this. <laughs> Well, you see, it's supposed to be a dumb line because the movie's a takeoff on all those action thrillers. Oh, I know, but I always feel so embarrassed for the actors in those movies because the jokes are so corny. Oh, I, I kind of like corny jokes. Oh, and so the owner says, your monkey's great. I just wish you wouldn't sing the Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> oh, you see, every time the monkey sings the National Anthem, the owner has to stand up. Never, it's a, it's a corny joke. Yeah. I, I like corny jokes, don't you? Tell you what, let's dance. Uh, okay. I like this, this uh, song, you know, it's got a nice, easy beat. David, do you like it? What? Oh, I'm sorry, what'd you say? Well, it wasn't important. I'll tell you what, uh, why don't I go get us another round, okay? Thanks, but I've got to go here. Hi. So, how's your date going? Fine. 
Good. Yours? Twelve. Tina, when I told you that Marty and I were going to come to Rhodey's, how come you didn't tell me that you were planning on coming here, too? Oh, well, um, it just sort of came up last minute. You know how those things are. Hmm. So, here we are. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. What a coincidence. says, well, it was my first day with the hook. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to give this roadie lady a call. Uh, I used to ten bar, and she wouldn't hurt me to have some extra money while I'm here seeing Luna, huh? I had a friend who tended here. Um, gosh, I bet you'll be great. I hope you get the job. Does that mean that you accept my truce? Truth. Thank you. Why don't you sit down? Um, listen, I'm very sorry about what happened earlier. We both said some things we shouldn't have. No, that's being nice. I, well, the truth is, I just overreacted. Given the circumstances, I would have done the same thing. Insulting people or trying to be nice to you. No, that's not allowed. Apology accepted. Let's just forget it, all right? <laughs> One more thing. You, you were right. About what? After everything happened, the rape, trial, all the publicity, um, well, it didn't take me long before I realized that I could never just be me again. I could never just be Marty Saybrook. I'd always be Marty Saybrook who was raped. So, well, one of the reasons you were right, one of the reasons I went out with you is because you're just this anonymous guy who doesn't know anything about my past. And who wanted to get to know you. Well, you were right. So when you found out, I got angry. I mean, here I was. I was going to have to be Marty Saber, who was raped all over again. So I went on the attack. Before you could throw my past in my face. I wouldn't do that. I know. I, I mean, up here, I know that. Well, maybe we need to get the rest of you to know that. Let's dance. Oh, I'd like that. date. Yeah, me too. Uh, but I want to thank you first. For what? For the dance. It's fun. Maybe we could do it again sometime, huh? Yeah, some other time. All right. Hey, Marty, how you doing? You know, I'm a little tired. I think I'm ready to pack it in. Uh, me too. I'll, I'll drive you home. Oh, thank you, but I've got my car. Dylan, I'm ready to head out, too. Okay, sure, I'll drive you. You know what? I forgot all about it. I'm supposed to take Luna of her magazines before she goes to bed, and I think I have just enough time. Do you mind, Tina? Uh, David, can you take your sister home for me? 